liberal Sagittarius relationships. And if you want to see how someone affects you, what influence they will have in your life, I would advise you to check uh, how, uh, I would advise you to find out what this person triggers in your horoscope. Basically, you have to compare your ascendant sign with the sun, moon, or ascendant sign of the other person. Or if you want to see why you're in the life of this other person, or what do you have to bring to them, why did God connect you, or what effect you have on them, then compare the ascendant sign of the other person with your sun, moon, or ascendant sign. Always the ascendant sign, use it as a reference point to see for the person that you want to see who is being affected. Uh, and the ascendant sign shows the houses in astrology and they show the influences that, that you're here to bring into the life of the other person. Uh, you can also compare moon signs with sun signs, sun signs with sun signs, you know, ascendant signs with moon signs. You can cross-reference all those three important signs in astrology. But the easiest and most conspicuous influences will usually come from comparing the ascendant to the sun, moon, to the sun and moon in particular of the other person. Uh, and let's say you are Libra ascendant and to a lesser degree Libra sun or moon and then you keep attracting your life Sagittarius people you keep attracting people who have their moon or their sun in Sagittarius or a few planets in Sagittarius or maybe even the ascendant in Sagittarius well the Sagittarius will trigger for the Libra the, four, the third house which is um, which is the house of curiosity so the Sagittarius person who somehow helped the Libra become more adventurous, become more experimenting, you know, uh, open up their mind to new opportunities, to new experiences in life, but in particularly with uh, trying out new things which are of practical nature. Because third house rules all knowledge which is practical, for instance, like learning how to swim. A Sagittarius person can help a Libra get inspired to have a desire to learn how to play an instrument, uh, swim, maybe be a teacher who teaches the Libra person how to read or uh, how to do business or how to use a computer or how to knit, you know, this kind of practical skills which will be useful for you in the world to utilize uh, as talents, you know. So it's quite positive influence that Sagittarius can have. Sometimes they can be harsh taskmasters, the Sagittarius to Libra people, but, you know, they just want to incite, even unconsciously, they don't realize, but they, they want to excite into the Libra person this more adventurous spirit of trying out new things because third house rules initiative as well, initiative trying out new things, being more courageous, third house rules courage. Uh, and uh, this is if you keep, if you're Libra ascendant or sun or moon to a lesser degree and you keep attracting people with Sagittarius influence, they're there because they will have a, you know, uh, they will help you learn new things a lot. They will help you become more adventurous, more initiative, more self starting as well, teach you new talents and skills. Uh, and more curious about life, about what's happening around third house rules, all the information around us, all the world that's around us, the newspapers, the magazines, the gossip, what's happening, they can incite a bit more uh, interest towards life, or our involvement with life, with gossip, on the lower scale, it might be a great friend that you love to gossip about and discuss other people with the Sagittarius person. Uh, on the higher scale, it can be someone who inspires you to learn, learning, to, towards learning new skills and ability and, and opening up your interest, inspiring more interest. Third house also rules games and, um, you know, competition and uh, so a Sagittarius person can be a great friend to have games with, to play games with, to have fun with as well. It's very friendly influence and it's almost like it's the house of siblings. Often they can be like a sibling, siblings friendship between the two people, even if you're, say, a Libra and you're in love with a man who is Sagittarius, um, this person you can be very good friends with, which is great. You can have a sibling relationship. It, it doesn't mean you're not going to have passion between you. It depends on other factors, not on what we're looking at right now, but you will definitely uh, have this um, uh, kind predisposition towards Sagittarius, person who triggers the Sagittarius um, uh, third house in you, uh, who, who triggers your third house. And it will make you, as I said, more more adventurous, more initiative, more willing to try new things. Uh, and what happens if you're the Sagittarius person and you keep attracting Libras in your life? Say your son or 
say you ascend the Nisan Sagittarius to a lesser degree Sun and Moon, and you keep attracting people with a few planets in Sagittarius, say Sun, Moon, Ascendant maybe, you know. Then for the Sagittarius, Libra triggers the 11th house. And the 11th house is house of friendship. You see how there is again this feeling of friendship, of kinship, of, of, um, of positive attitudes towards each other. And often Libra, uh, Scorpio, sorry, often Sagittarius people, Sagittarius ascendant people can have uh, more friends who have Libra ascendant, Libra moon, Libra sun or uh, such influences because they trigger their friendship house. Uh, and even if they're lovers, they will, ha they will have a very kind feeling of friendships between them. And uh, uh, 11th house also rules is the house of uh, social networking and acquaintances. So a liberal person can bring into the life of a Sagittarius person more, uh, it can expand their social network, can bring new friends, can introduce them to people who actually can become benefactors for them. Sagittarius person in some way because 11th house rules those people that are there who 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 want to give us an extend who wants to extend this a helping hand to help us further our goals and desires long term dreams and wishes because 11th house rules dream and dreams and wishes it's a very benevolent house so usually Sagittarius uh, have a very benevolent influences coming from the liberal person. Uh, and even if they're enemies in some way, even if the liberal person dislikes the Sagittarius and vice versa, the liberal person will tend with its actions, with her or his actions, to somehow expand the social circle of the Sagittarius, help them even if they're going against them to, to, to further their goals and wishes and even be more gainful so if you're a Sagittarius ascendant you're wondering whether to go into a business partnership with someone with moon or sun in Libra you know or a few planets in Libra I would say go for it because they trigger your house of gainfulness a house of uh, financial you know uh, growth and actually the money that you can make yourself so um, you know and it can be gainfulness it's not always financial gainfulness but as i said it can be gainfulness of influence of friends of um, uh, people who help you progress forward 11th house rules friendships and friends are those people who are there for us and who trust in us and who usually the good kind of friends you know and who want to help us grow further you know in life and this is what Libra will trigger for Aquarius. So there is uh, both signs uh, can teach each other positive, good things, you know, can can help each other progress a lot in life. And it's a good combination, you know. Of course, there can be other influences in the horoscope that makes the relationship much hard and much difficult. But these are the main influences that God puts you together, you know. These are some of the lessons that you have to learn from each other. Uh, and yeah, thank you so much and please share with me, do you agree with what I just said?